Okay, hello everyone. So we are on the website of Fro Babies Hair. I highly recommend you check out that channel. Even though it says babies on it, adults, don't worry about it. They still have wonderful information. They're gonna go over the LCO and the LOC method. So yeah, let's read on. Let's stop wasting time. The difference, the LOC versus LCO method to moisturize your curls. Naturally curly or kinky hair is prone to drying out. Our hair follicles naturally produce a protective oil layer, sebum, that works its way from the root to tip. However, this natural oil can't travel all the way down your curls. So you must add moisture to the hair to ensure that it doesn't dry out. If the hair dries out, it will quickly damage and break. Here's how to use the LOC or LCO method to moisturize your curls. So what we have here is the chart that I really, really love. This chart is so cute. So this is the chart in purple. It's LOC and pink is LCO. So for those that are following the LOC method, you are applying water, moisturize hair with water, then oil. Apply oil to seal in moisture from the water and then cream. Apply cream to seal in moisture from the oil. So that's the LOC method. Now the LCO method is water, water um, moisturize hair with water, cream. Apply cream to seal in moisture from the water, oil. Apply oil to seal in moisture from the cream. LOC versus LCO method. To keep your curls or kinky hair healthy, you can add a protective layer of oil to moisturize and seal the hair cuticles with the LOC or the LCO methods. Perform, perform a hair porosity test first to ensure you understand what type of hair oil to use. Then separate the hair into sections and follow the steps below. That's a very important um, tip is the hair porosity test. I did not do one yet, but I will be doing one on my next hair wash. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can um, see how I perform my hair porosity test. Right now I'm following the LCO method, but who knows, maybe I'm supposed to be following the LOC method. So be sure to follow my, um, to subscribe to my channel so we can test out and see what my hair porosity test is. So this is something that you should be doing when you're getting ready to start your hair um, growth journey, you gotta do the, I, I highly recommend to do the hair porosity test first. Okay, let's keep going. LOC method, number one, short for leave-in, oil, and cream. This method is achieved by adding leave-in conditioner to towel dried hair or spring dry, or spring dry hair with a mixture of water, and conditioner. Apply a number two. Apply a light. Um, number two. Apply a light layer of your natural oil of choice: coconut, sweet almond, avocado, olive oil, jojoba, or olive oil. The type of oil you choose depends on the porosity of the hair. The more porous the hair, the heavier the oil will need to be. Water and oil do not mix. So the oil will coat the hair, sealing in moisture. Number three, the final step is to close the cuticles with your cream of choice. Okay, so now the LCO method. Number one, short for leave-in, cream, and oil. This method is achieved by adding leave-in conditioner to towel dried hair or spraying the hair with a mixture of water and conditioner. Number two, then you will close the cuticles with your cream of choice, such as, and then they talk about the cream, so just a cream of your choice. Number three, apply a light layer of your natural oil of choice, coconut, sweet almond, avocado oil, jojoba, or olive oil. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. The hair should not look or feel oily, and it should not weigh down. Give each method at least three weeks to see which one works best for you. So down below, you're gonna see the um, 
the hair, the, the uh, strand test. So down below you see the strand test, which I will not be getting into as much on this portion of the article. I will come back to this portion of the article when I am going to be doing my hair porosity test. So I'm just gonna continue to scroll through this website so you can see what's on it, but I won't be reading furthermore. I think there is one more article that I want to... So that's, see, as you can see, that talks about more of the hair porosity. Very, you know, very, I love the information on this website. Lots of information. Check it out. So it tells you how often, it says, how often should you do the LOC or the LCO method? You should do the LOC or the LO, the LOC or the LCO method on wash days. People with um, mixed hair may only need to do it once per week. However, you can apply oil to split ends more often if they are beginning to frizz. Have split ends trimmed as soon as possible to minimize further damage up their hair strand. And then it just talks more about that. Let's see what else. So this just talks about how else can you use natural oils on natural curls. So yeah, so this is what I have for you for now. I just wanted to go over the difference between the LOC, LCO method. Um, once again, I am going to be going over the porosity hair strand test um, when I'm on my next um, hair wash day sometime in July. And then um, we'll be coming back to this same article and, uh, and we'll be doing that. So that's all I have for you for now on this article. And so be sure to subscribe so you guys can see me test on my hair porosity strand test because who knows, maybe I'm following the wrong method. Maybe I'm supposed to be following the LOC method and not the LCO. So um, now I am going to move on furthermore with my video and I'll see you in the next section. Thank you so much for listening. Okay, so pretty much what you see here laid out on my bed are uh, from Amazon, except two items, the hair blow dryer um, and the Cantu Jumbo Treatment Caps. That's from Target, and I do not remember where I got my hair blow dryer because I had it for years. However, it is still available on Amazon. So this is my starter uh, items for my hair growth journey. Um, I ordered a satin bonnet. I have this in pink. I got the pink one from Walmart. This one here came from Amazon and it is way too tight. Uh, this is pre-recorded. I recorded this literally two weeks ago and I am just now finally doing my voiceover. So that's why I'm able to let you know how I like these items now as of today. Um, I love these hair clips. They're very, um, they hold down your buns and they hold the hair out of the way perfectly. They do not cause damage. They slip through your hair perfectly. They pull out of the hair perfectly. I am loving these hair clips and I like the colors that I bought. I, um, I bought uh, some spray bottles. This came in a pack of three, blue, pink, and purple. As you can see, I've been using the blue one a lot. Um, that one has water in it that I dumped out. And if you can't get those from Amazon, I got this from Walmart for like literally a dollar. I really like how this sprays. It is, it's not a mist, um, but it gives you a wide range of spray. That's why I like, I really liked it that one more than the blue one, to be honest. <laughs> and it's bigger, but hey, it worked. But um, this one here, it's like the one I've been seeing a lot of people use. It sprays out like a mist, so your hair is not overly saturated or drenched. Um, as of today, this is now my favorite water bottle. And I'm, this is the main one that I'm using and I will be going back to order more. I need one more. <laughs> and as mentioned, I have uh, some treatment caps. This came from Target. So um, on my hair care journey, I will be making a lot of homemade hair masks. And um, so I bought some conditioning caps for that so I can lock in the moisture and just let, you know, treatments and masks and stuff sit on the scalp. So that came from Target, and uh, this came from Amazon too. Uh, it's a, what are they called, microfiber uh, t hair towels. Um, they do not, it's not, you know, it doesn't snag the hair after you wash it. 
you just tie it uh, I got some footage of that so I can show you what you know you tie it and then you um, clip it on to the button and um, yeah and it dries your hair perfectly without snagging it and breaking it I love this hair towel this is my first time using a hair towel like this they came it comes in a pack of three I think yeah a pack of three very soft very soft uh, this is my massage comb this came from oh actually this came from Walmart sorry so this is another one that came from somewhere that's not Amazon I got that from Walmart you know you can massage your scalp with this detangle with it in the shower uh, circulate that blood flow when you're uh, oiling your scalp and you can massage it in I recommend that this one is a mini one a mini one I have another one in the shower that also came from Walmart and it's way bigger this one's like a mini one so I use this one when I'm oiling my scalp look at those bristles very soft and gentle so I highly recommend one of these uh, I've seen people use scalp massagers with um, bristles that move and rotate on their own that was pretty cool I need to find out where that is I am spending a lot of time <laughs> demonstrating this scalp massager <laughs> okay let me put it down put it down let's move to the next item bear with me guys like I said this is a voiceover so I'm just doing commentary over what I see so I should edit this I'm keeping it you know it's a part of being authentic I'm gonna keep that <laughs> so this is the Revlon hair blow dryer they, they like I said this is still available on Amazon you can get your hands on this the only thing I hate that it doesn't come with um, like the the hair the hair piece that combs so something like like it doesn't attach there's not a comb that attaches to it and so i can't blow dry and comb at the same time that's the only thing i hate about it but this thing is awesome it has cool features on it so i uh, yeah i recommend this hair blow dryer it's very very old uh, i had it for several years now so i'm sure there's like better blow dryers on the market but it got pretty good reviews too and i bought some she um trimming shears for trimming your hair I tried to trim my hair you guys epic fail I went to, I'll tell you about it later but <laughs> I tried to trim my own ends but um this is still good to have when I have to do touch-ups I got that from Amazon as well I can't tell you if it cuts perfectly yet I still have not used it as of today um, today is July 3rd and I recorded this around June 19th I think and I got this t-shirt from Amazon. It's a men's size shirt, which was a bad mistake. The shirt is freaking big. <laughs> um, but I got the shirt from Amazon. And um, of course, a lot of you guys re can obviously recognize what this means on the back of the shirt. This is so I can track my length. Okay, see, so I did it by one inch then six inches right there. Then that's 12 inch, 18 inch. 24 inches I hope I can ever get it that long and 30 inches and just a little bit it goes up to about 33 inches so yep this is how I'm going to track my progress I will never wash this shirt it's going to never be washed I am only going to wear it on the days when it's time to measure my length just to make sure that everything is going great and that I am retaining my length and that my hair uh, growth journey is uh, going as it should so I recommend that you uh, do this as well um, yeah so that is it for now I do have another clip that I will be adding because um, I bought some other things that's not shown on the video so I would definitely uh, add that to the end of this clip so this is what I recommend a lot of you girls that wants to start your journey make sure that you have these items um, another thing that's not shown here um i want to get a detangling brush um so yeah and then what else did i get that's not on here yeah that's something that i'm going to add on to here is a detangling a detangling brush but yeah get your hands on these items when you are ready to start your uh hair growth journey this is item these are items that you will definitely be using a lot trust me a lot so this is uh, beginner friendly, so if you are a, if you consider yourself a hair guru, a pro, your hair has been growing. Excuse the uh, excuse the uh, ambulance going by. 
Um, that's one of the reasons why I took so long to record this. It's hot now. It's summertime. And um, there's a lot of out. There's a lot of background noise because I have my patio patio open, the windows open. So I took so long to record this because of noise. Um, so yeah, get your hands on these items, ladies, when you're ready to start your uh, journey. So like I was saying, this is uh, beginner friendly. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that I purchased these um, tubes to help me oil my scalp more easier and better. I can control the flow by puncturing a hole on the top and um, it has been a game changer for me. I highly recommend those who oil their scalp with the natural oils to get these. Really, really love them. And I also purchased this pre-twisted turban, which I no longer like as of today. Um, it absorbs sweat. So if it absorbs sweat, it's going to absorb moisture. So this was a bad idea. I need to go back and find me one with silk material. I think this is polyester. It's still a great turban, just not a great choice if you're trying to grow your hair out. I think this will cause breakage. And um, I think I did have a lot of breakage when I wore it. So, but it's a cute turban. They come in different colors, but I need a satin one. But yeah, so that was definitely a bad mistake, but very sturdy and the turban stays on. Uh, but yeah, not a great choice.